Learning to code can be a Here are the top offenders making it hard for you to learn how to code and how to fix them. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your friendly neighborhood IT girl, Sierra, and today we are doing a countdown. So feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you are into this, and let's get on to the video. Number one, how you were taught to learn. There's an ancient Chinese proverb that says, tell me and I'll forget, show me and I'll remember, involve me and I'll understand. Traditional schools are one of the worst offenders when it comes to giving you the tools that you're going to need to learn how to code. And this is because the goal of traditional school is to just get you to do well on standardized tests. And usually they employ the show me and I'll remember tactic to do that. Coding is definitely an involve me and I'll understand subject. There are so many abstract concepts in coding that the only way to really digest it is to get in there and do it. So you gotta roll up your sleeves, jump in there, don't be afraid to make mistakes and break things. You know, in fact, break, break all the things, break them twice. Because once you've done it a couple times, then you'll really understand what is going on in the code. You know that old saying, a watched pot never boils? It's a proverb coined by poor Richard, AKA Benjamin Franklin during his annual almanac in the 18th century. And ultimately it's untrue. I mean, it does, but it just feels like it takes a million years for it to happen when you sit there watching it. With the rise of social media and the internet, it's been proven through studies that we've become more impatient. That means that we think everything is easy. We only see the tip of the iceberg and we never see the time and effort that it takes for people to become not just good, but decently competent at things. There's a learning curve for everything. Obviously, if you're naturally gifted at something, it's gonna be a lot shorter. But for most of us, it's gonna take some time and effort to get good at things. Now that's normal. And it's not only normal, it's actually good for us. Things that come easy tend to be less valued. The things that you have to work for, those are the things that you tend to remember. So don't put yourself on a time limit. If it takes you a little longer to learn programming than someone else, it doesn't matter. You could both end up still working at the same company. In fact, you could end up being their boss. Tutorials are the lifeblood of coding education. Everybody learns to code by doing some sort of tutorial either on their own or in school. However, maybe you finish that tutorial, so you start another and another. Then by the fourth or fifth tutorial, you're feeling super accomplished and you're ready to go out and get that tech job. Don't do it. <laughs> this is the equivalent of doing swim class with floaties. Tutorials are floaties. You cannot be on the swim team using floaties. You have to challenge yourself to recreate that project from scratch on your own and then do it again, but add your own flavor to it. You could even do this during the tutorial with each section that you complete. Too many tutorials hand feed information to students, so it's up to you to dive deep to understand how and why the program that you're working on works. Therefore, inevitably, when you get asked to do something similar, you'll be able to retrieve that knowledge and then build upon it. So those are some of the biggest offenders I think when it comes to learning how to code. If I missed anything, feel free to let me know down in the comments if there's something that makes it very difficult for you to learn how to code. Then give this video a like and subscribe if you want to talk about more techie tech things. And thanks for watching guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.